On again, some of the younger skaters coming up. One to Quebec. Joseph Fan and his former clubmate, Nick Nadeau. And here comes Roman Sadowski. Roman Sadowski. Struggled with consistency, the Vaughn, Ontario, Richmond Hill skater. High flyer as well. Three quads planned in the program. Just 19 years of age. Tall, long lines, good power across the ice, opening with a quad sal cow. Very nice. To back. Yeah, he's got three quads planned in all. And the next one, a quad toe. A little turnout on the landing. combination and popped it just got off the heel on the axle start to his season winning a bronze medal at the Autumn Classic. Look at the speed now he's building into his quad sal cow. Needs this. Yes, oh, it was yeah. better than the first. Quad sal, triple sal. Chance to get back an axle coming up right here. There you are. Oh. Thought he was going to nail that. Just body was a little out of the circle. And when you're as tall as Roman is, it is very difficult if you get slightly off. here hanging on Final spin, the speed of the rotation, the long, elegant lines, absolutely superb. 
He has those moments, Rod. He's got the moments quads. Moments of brilliance. He has the quads. Needs that triple he, axle. The axles eluded him tonight and a little bit ran out of speed at the end, but the falls can really take the wind out of your sails. It wasn't too long ago when Roman Sadovsky was about the size of this yes. guy, though. He had a huge growth spurt. Gogolev still ahead. The youngster. Am Nguyen is a young gun, too. To reclaim a title and Keegan Messing. Good buddies. Drama at the Nationals. Flashes of genius and ability from Roman Sadovsky, the 19-year-old, with a new souvenir, unicorn souvenir. That's Tracy Wayman, who was the youngest Canadian to ever win a national title back in the 80s. Steven Gogolev is in the wings. He could become the youngest man ever. Have a look at his quad sal cow. That was slightly under-rotated. Some losing some marks for the technical difficulty and the quality of that jump jump look at his step sequences though beautiful presence long lines weaving now he did have a lead on joseph fan by almost six points so he has a bit of a cushion and again had the three quads and again quality will be judged second quad sal cow into a half loop triple sal cow and it's really the assessing the judges will be the ass assessing the landings of his jumps to see if they were fully rotated before he touched the ice and he's had um, some difficulty this year in competition uh, with the rotations know, on his jumps and the, so the little mistakes add up and it a number of his jumps are under review here and both of the quad sows were deemed under-rotated. There is the seven-time champion, the man who took the quad to an entirely different level. Elvis Stoiko, athlete ambassador here. I'm sure he's worked with Roman in the past and watched him. Roman, by the way, is a creative guy. He has his own YouTube channel. and he's A techie, the Romsky channel. He is a young man with a great personality. He needs 147.97 to lead, 141.80 for second, and a lot of work for the judges here. Well, especially with, with some of the jump reviews that they <clears throat> they have a look at, because it can happen so quickly, but if you finish the rotation on the ice, you don't get the full credit for the quad. Now, here's a man, Conrad Orzel, who I think stole, stole the show yeah. in the short program. I think he messed everything up. He did at the first standing. Let's take a look at his scores. No, way low. Yeah. 136 yeah. 6 1, and he's third in the free. 218 7 1, third overall. And likely not in the top five, but we still have four skaters remaining, including this guy.